Hello guys, it is Larry the Gamer here, and let's cut the nonsense right now. I want to say that a lot of people on YouTube, they are great creators, people actually know what they're doing, and they make great content overall. Now, from this YouTube video of the top five YouTubers, YouTubers that got way out of hand, I will be excluding Jinx and a few other channels, because I want to make my, my video a bit original and, well, this is about as, as original as you can get. Top 5 YouTubers, you know, that got way out of hand. So let's get into this. Mr. Beast. Now, if you do not know who Mr. Beast is, and hey, listen, that's completely fine if you know who, who Mr. Beast is. He's really not that popular, but I will admit, the only reason I'm putting him on this list is because, well, the second I saw his channel, because, now, have you guys ever wondered, hey, maybe... You know those stupid 3D intros that go like bomb bomb with the stupid like you know the music and it says your name with it you know the title those like 10 second intros yeah I hate those too but this guy thought it would be a good idea to make an entire YouTube channel dedicated to making like top five top ten worst intros for YouTube now I will admit the series is actually kind of interesting the first few episodes but the problem is it gets very repetitive. The repetition keeps going on, and while it does change the content occasionally with this channel, which is probably why I put him at top number five, his channel just gets repetitive, and he is just about, I mean, by the time I make this video, he'll probably have 50,000 50, subs, so that's all I gotta say about him. So if you do like his channel, I actually don't hate his channel, go ahead and enjoy his channel, I don't hate it that much, but yeah. This channel really just got out of hand, if you ask me. It'll probably get even bigger as time goes on. Psycho Dad. You guys know who Psycho Dad is, right? Well, if not, he is the character in the McJugger Nuggets series. It's kind of this reality TV show. I'm sure most of you have heard of it by now. You guys must have. But McJugger Nuggets fans, did you know that there is an entire that there is an entire channel with 100k subs? No, 125k subs that make these crappy little trailers and animations all dedicated to the Major Nugget series. I bet you didn't. I'm joking. A lot of you guys probably did. In fact, this channel has been around for like a year, a year and a half now. It, it used to be a little inside joke for the true juggies, I guess you can say. And honestly, I didn't find out about the channel until about he reached about uh, 50k subs. And that's in like the maybe August of uh, maybe June of 2015. So yeah, it's a little joke channel that got way out of hand. And if you ask me, it's probably going to reach 200k subs by the end of, hmm, let's say the next few months. So yeah, it's a channel that, while it is getting better in editing, the channel obviously has no reason to exist. The trailers were never really that good. Well, some of them are... Meh, at times. They are okay at times. But the problem is, if you do enjoy this channel, I don't hate you for it. I just don't enjoy it as much as I used to. Again, a lot of these channels may be interesting at first. But when they get out of hand, it becomes way too repetitive. See, so yeah, that's all I gotta say about Psycho Dad. Lieutenant Corbus. Now, I'm gonna keep this short because I'm sure most of you guys know who Lieutenant Corbus is. If not... Lieutenant Corbis is a YouTuber that blew up in a matter of days. She had her channel for like maybe a week, and then all of a sudden she had 200,000 subs. I honestly don't know how this happened. I think she got a shout out from somebody big. I don't entirely know. But for some reason, she got huge. She blew up on YouTube, and now people are treating her like a god. And those people who aren't are just hating on her. And honestly, I'm one of those people. I do not enjoy her content in the least. A lot of people say to her, she's a leafy clone, maybe a tad bit, but yeah, that's all I gotta say about her, she's not interesting in the slightest, she blew up way too big, nobody, like, the majority of people don't enjoy her content, they just subscribe to her because they heard, oh, she got 200,000 subs in a matter of days, Woo hoo whoopee, so yeah, that's all I gotta say about her, she is really one of those channels that just need to die off of YouTube. Alright, next one, Stomedy, just Stomedy. Yeah, no, but seriously, I'm sure most of you guys know who Stomedy is, and if not, 
Oh boy. <laughs> Somebody is this YouTuber that started off, I think, doing reaction channels. I'm not entirely sure. He did these little skits, I think, occasionally. And then he just blew up out, out of nowhere because I guess he got mentioned by Leafy. When he drank bleach, he uh, drilled himself in the head. Yeah, really, he did that. He did that. But, um, yeah, he's a channel that got way, way too out of hand. This is why he's at number four. Although, you will understand why number, why I picked this number one pick. Somebody definitely deserves a spot on this list very high up, and that is why he is at number two. So, Somebody, he smokes cardboard, he does reaction videos, and he makes these weird videos of himself. So, Honestly, some of his videos do have, do have a comedic factor. The reaction channels can go fuck off. You know, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. Just, Stomedy. If you guys like him, go ahead. I honestly kind of lost interest in him a while ago, but, uh, yeah. That's Stomedy for you. I'm sure most, some of you guys have got to have this number one picked down, right? Am I right? Well, you'll see. That's right. How to basic. I am positive that everyone watching this video has heard of How To Basic. He's this channel that originated in, I believe, 2010, 2009, and he started making these videos. Now, listen, I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, not entirely sure on that date, so don't kill me in the comment section if I'm wrong. But yeah, he started making these videos early in 2010 or somewhere around there. Don't kill me. And the videos were him basically picking up these things and. With these clickbait thumbnails and I guess clickbait titles, but not uh, yeah, clickbait titles and clickbait thumbnails. Him basically picking up things, doing menial tasks, and them just not actually getting the task done. And then the the videos just got out of hand for some reason. God knows why. His channel blew up on YouTube, and when I mean blew up, he has five thousand. No, no, he has five million subscribers. That's how what uh, I'm trying to talk about blowing up. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know how this happened. He started make. I I'm sure these clickbait thumbnails helped him out quite a bit. Didn't help with the titles, but yeah. As time goes on, his videos have gotten way out of proportion. While they are kind of interesting to watch at times and just sort of funny and nonsensical, I think anyone can find themselves lost watching these videos time after time. But like I said, with almost every single one uh, on every single channel on this list, they do get repetitive and they just stop being fun after a while. So I'm not saying any of these channels I mentioned on this list are bad, but they get repetitive and while they do have some entertainment qualities to them, they won't last or some of these channels will probably last forever, unfortunately, but in the midst of YouTube gold, we'll see. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you later.